guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry it's been a while since I posted. Um, I do apologize, but um, that should never happen again. So um, today is Ipsy Bag Review Day. Um, I got my Ipsy Bag yesterday. I was so excited to get this bag because I'm one of those girls that the second they say that my glam room is available for viewing, I am like up in my computer like I have to know what I'm getting. Um, so I was super, super excited for this bag to come. And let's just jump right into it. So you get this cute little, like, kind of like Hawaiian summery um, themed type bag. Um, of course, when you open it, you get the card that has the whole theme of the bag, which is Pretty in Paradise. So that's the whole theme of the bag, Pretty in Paradise. Um, and my first product didn't even actually fit in the bag. It was too big. It's this BB cushion. You see that BB cushion? It is, um, says it's exclusively at Target. Um, Laneige is how, I, I think that's how you say it. But what it came with, and you open it up, it's like a trifold here. Of course it came with like the medium and dark color and I'm the, light so the, I'm actually wearing it right now this is it um, I'm the light one that's right here um, it's a five-in-one it says it brightens protects um, cools and moisturizes um, prevents shine and perfects long-lasting coverage I don't think the coverage was that fabulous I mean it's a BB cream so it does have it does have some coverage but it's not like a full coverage I feel like I could still see some of my um, little acne scars and little imperfections in my skin. Um, it is an SPF 50 broad spectrum sunscreen. It has a kind of a, it has a sunscreen smell to it for sure. But what it is, is you take this like, what's supposed to be like special about this is this cushion that they have. It's like really tiny <laughs> and it's gross cause I used it. But um, it's supposed to help put it on like seamlessly it's supposed to be perfect and the bb itself is like a, a cushion too so you like press the cushion into like the foam cushion which actually has a lot of product in it so once i'm done with this video i'm gonna put this in a ziploc bag but um push it in and then you just press it onto the skin of course doing a pressing motion you're supposed to get more of a natural look but because the puff is so small i ended up having to get my foundation brush out and pressing it into the thing and then putting it on. Of course, I think it would be easier if you had a full size one like she's showing, but um, overall, I mean, it's a good BB cream. I actually like that it, um, it did, like it says here, no shine, prevent shine. It literally when it dried, it dried matte, which is nice because I'm combination skin. Um, this is definitely a product I'm going to have to go to Target and buy full size and really try it out and see how it works. So I was actually pretty excited about that. It's kind of a bummer I can't use the other two colors unless I go out into the sun a little bit more. I can, might be able to get to the medium, but um, overall I was pretty pleased with it. My second product I got was the NYX Butter Gloss. You guys, I was so excited about this because I've been tempted to buy these. I just, every time I go in there in our Ulta, they're sold out of everything like everything and i never have the colors i wanted um this one is an apple strudel and i was really really hoping i got this color because i love it's just it screams summer look how pretty it is it's this pinky coral color and it i'm wearing it right now just very very light on the lips great for just going out for the day i was ecstatic thank you ipsy um they had like another really orangey color and like a really, really light tan color. And I was like, please don't give me those colors. I want this one. So I was excited when I got that one. Um, a product I'm kind of on the fence about is the um, Dove Peer Care Dry Oil. It's the macadamia oil. I recently have been using more oils for my hair, using them on the ends. Um, I just... <sighs> I've had issues with Dove before just being too heavy. So I'm hoping this won't be too heavy for my hair. Oh, it smells really good. I'll probably have to try it on a day that 
I'm not going to work and if my hair does end up being really greasy and oily, well, I won't be going anywhere, so. <laughs> um, the next product I was super excited to get to is the um, Nika New York, and this is the Shimmer Eyeliner. In, what color is this? It just says blue. 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 She's blue. I loved the Chella liner in blue that I got, and this one's like an aqua blue. I can't wait to wear this. It is so pretty. And I really, really like the brush. It's this kind of long felt tip brush. And it, I tried it on last night. It made it really easy for application, like super, super easy for application. So um, I'll definitely, I'm gonna be doing a look with this and the lip gloss and I will um, do a tutorial for you guys. These two, because I love, look at how pretty these colors look together. Yep, pretty, pretty. I'm so excited. So I'll be doing a tutorial with those two and so you guys can get the full effect of that eyeliner for sure. And my last product that I got was the Be A Bombshell Lash Out Mascara. Okay, so I was excited because I love mascaras. Love, love, love mascaras. Um, one thing I have to wear when I go out of the house, regardless of what I look like, I have to have mascara on. I will not walk out of the house with that mascara on. Not pleased with this. I was thinking I was gonna get some full on, you know, crazy volume lashes. As you can see, my lashes are not as full as they usually are. And I didn't even put any like top eyeliner on just so you guys could get the full effect of how this mascara looks. Um, this would probably just be an everyday, like I'm not going to work, I just needed to put something on my eyelashes type mascara for me. Um, I was hoping the brush to be a lot, I wanted the brush to be a lot thicker and fuller and it's not and the spiral, the spiral brush for me doesn't work for my eyelashes. It just kind of goes right through them and doesn't really do anything for them. So a little disappointed, it, it does kind of have a very like horrific like spray can paint smell. Um, I know it goes on your eyelashes once you dry you can't smell it but getting there and getting it on it's kind of it's work because <laughs> you have to work through the smell. So a little disappointed, but like I said, it'll probably just be like a, I needed to put something on my lashes before I walked out the door um, type mascara for me. It definitely won't be my like everyday work mascara. This won't work for me, so yeah. And that's what I got in my bag. For those of you who still, um, who, do, who do not know what Ipsy is, Ipsy is a um, subscription glam bag that you get once a month you pay ten dollars every month for a bag and what it is is you get four to five full size or deluxe size products and it's actually pretty neat like i said i mean i got full size full size and full size i mean i got three out of five products that were full size so i mean definitely the ten bucks was already well worth it um, if you're thinking about trying one of these and want to try out new makeup, try out Ipsy. I will put a link to Ipsy down below in the description box. So I'll see you guys this coming Sunday for my tutorial with the new um, shimmer liner and the new NYX butter gloss that I got. Okay, so until then, you guys have a great week. Bye!